Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and welcome to Seconds Count. So we're at our beautiful Brevard County Sheriff's Office Tactical Firearms Range, and as always, I'm with our, our, one of our senior firearms instructors and trainers, Larry Plotkin. Larry, we've, we've talked about some other things in the past, but today let's talk a little bit about situational awareness in a restaurant. We're gonna actually talk about how we can best protect ourselves and those with us in a restaurant. So one of the important things is when you walk into a restaurant, I wanna know where my exits, my entrances are, uh, what's behind me, what's in front of me. I will always want to keep my mind going. I want to pay attention to who walks in, who's sitting down, and all that. One of the real things I have to pay attention to is cover concealment. What table can I tip over if something was to happen, where I can actually tip a table over, is that solid core wood where that will be cover? Or am I going to have something that's concealment that a round would go through? So I'm looking for what's gonna be cover for me, which protects me ballistically, and I'm looking for what might be concealment, which won't protect me from ballistic bullets, but however, will give me some kind of concealment where I can hide. Okay, so. now you have a saying that you often, uh, when you're teaching, you often tell people, and that is? Don't ever get yourself into something you can't get out of, and that should hold light with you. You should really think about that stuff everywhere you go, don't get into something that you can't get out of. Right. That's really important. So sometimes we have to think about not creating a worse scenario than we're already in, um, allowing our actions to do that or our body language to do that uh, from that aspect. Correct, so I have to determine, is this guy killing people? Am I gonna take action? Is he walking out and there's no, he's not committing harm to anybody else? I have to make those determinations on where, I, where, I, where I'm sitting at and what is going on. I have to read the whole uh, totality of the circumstance. I have to look at everything and make that determination. Do I need to shoot or do I need to just kind of sit there and, and, and you know, just wait and, and see Looking what happens. at maybe a potential for harm. Correct. Is this person about ready to leave the scenario or the, the situation? So, Correct. you know, it's a lot to, uh, a lot to think about, a lot of process, and it doesn't just happen instantly. You have to constantly think about these scenarios, play them out in your head. What if, what if I was caught in this scenario? And that's why we do these, mm -hmm. uh, these videos to try and help our citizens be best prepared. As always, Larry, thank you for being with us, man. And You're remember, welcome. when it's time to protect you and your family, seconds count.